Hello, I'm TMN, and welcome to today's movie review. Pulp Fiction tells the interconnected story of two hitmen who must retrieve a special briefcase for their boss. And if you think that sounds too simple, believe me, I haven't even started. From gold anal watches to witty dialogue, this film has everything from violence to dance contests. It's one insane scene after another. This is Pulp Fiction. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I didn't mean to do that. Please, continue. Without a doubt, Quentin Tarantino is one of the best screenwriters working today. People may have their differing opinions on what the best Tarantino film is, but hands down, the best screenplay for any Tarantino film has got to be Pulp Fiction. Even if you've never even seen this film, you know the dialogue like the back of your hand. You know what they call a, a, a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? And what do they call it? They call it uh, a royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. That's right. Practically every line spoken by Samuel L. Jackson's character, Jules, has become iconic. What country are you from? What? What? what ain't no country I ever heard of? They speak English and what? Some people might complain that Tarantino's writing is a bit off color. After all, there's an entire scene in this film with Christopher Walking talking to a young Bruce Willis's character about how he's been carrying a gold pocket watch in his behind for the past couple years as it's been passed down through the generations. The writing in his films definitely seems to stick out like a sore thumb at times. But what makes Tarantino's writing so good is he doesn't have his characters talk like regular movie characters. He has them talk like regular people. Normally, cinema might depict two hitmen talking about the job they're about to do. What does Tarantino do? What do they call a Big Mac? Big Mac's a Big Mac, but they call it Le Big Mac. Le, Le Big Mac. <laughs> he gives us anecdotes. And one of the interesting things about Pulp Fiction is the way the story plays out. It's not in chronological order, so you as the audience member have to put the pieces of the puzzle together at the end of the film. But that does make the movie interesting because you're constantly trying to guess what's going to happen next, and overall it keeps you glued to the screen. This film features a ton of big name actors and all of the performances are great. Bruce Willis, Uma Thurman, John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, Christopher Walken, all great, but I have to say Jackson probably is the best of the bunch. The humor in this film is very dark at times and that might put some people off, but for me, I enjoy a bit of black comedy from time to time. And as far as music goes, I can't really review much of an actual composer score because this movie is really made up of pop music but it does tie the movie together really well, and I certainly enjoy the songs they used for the finished product. Now granted, not everyone's gonna like this film. Whether it's the cursing, the immoral events, the violence, it's certainly not a family get-together movie. However, if you're looking for a film with great performances, fantastic writing and dialogue, great directing by Tarantino, just something to do for the next two and a half hours, then I'd check this movie out. And while this movie may be two hours and 34 minutes, it never gets old. There are so many crazy things that happen in this film that it's hard to get bored. One minute, Vincent and Mia might be competing in a Jackrabbit Slim's dance contest. And another minute, Butch and Marcellus Wallace will be trapped in a pawn shop. This film is all over the place, but it ties together so well at the end. Throughout the film, certain characters don't make it. But the way the film ends, which is more in the middle of the story, you're left with a sense of hope, but also a sense of dread knowing the events that are about to come. It very cleverly ends open-ended, but at the same time, it doesn't. And because certain dialogues spend so much time on a certain topic, you remember every single thing that you hear. In this film, there's never a moment of, wait, what did that thing have to do with that thing again? With Pulp Fiction, you're always like, oh yeah, that's what that had to do with that thing. It holds your attention from scene to scene. It is a great film. Altogether, I would rate Pulp Fiction, huh. Well guys, that's about it for today's review. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for my review of A Fistful of Dollars, which will start off the Dollars Trilogy. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, click on that little bell icon to be notified whenever I post. Leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts on the film. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. And as always, subscribe. I'm TMN, and until next time. Okay.
tasty burger.